Hi guys and welcome to Dean's Den. Today I'm going to cover simplifying interiors. Every single one of us has seen these trashed vehicles all over YouTube, all over Facebook. And I mean these things are disgusting. They're loaded with, with garbage, they're loaded with coffee cups and bags of chips and, and honestly bags of garbage half the time. There's no reason for this. If you're doing a viral video and in Canada we have the king of the pig pens. This guy cleans the most disgusting vehicles there is on the planet, and he's making money off it. If you're not monetized by YouTube, don't take these vehicles because you're not making anything off it. The time and effort you're gonna put in to unload all this garbage, and half the time you gotta bag some of it and put it back in because there's there's shoes in there, there's boots in there, there's, there's clothes left in there, there's all kinds of stuff. So you gotta take the time to separate all this crap, put it in nice and neat in the trunk, and I'll, Look, that's ridiculous, okay? If you're getting paid to do it by YouTube, that's fantastic, all right? And like I said, over here in Canada, we already have the king of the pig pen interiors. So, you know what? We're not, nobody's gonna touch him. The guy is the ultimate. He tears the thing right down, strips it right down, to pulls all the interior out and everything else, cleans the whole thing. Look, you know, we're not him, so I'm gonna tell you straight up, don't waste your time. Tell the customer right off the bat that you charge $50 an hour to remove all the items out of the car and reload it. And tell them, when the vehicle comes here, it needs to be empty, except for the original floor mats that were in it. And that puts an end to a lot of this baloney that goes on, because we don't have three hours to empty this guy's car, sort everything out, put everything in garbage bags, and put it back all nice and neat in the trunk. They have to do that at the body shop. The reason they do that at the body shop, the car gets hit in an accident, the customer doesn't have time to clean it out. If they're bringing it to you for a detail, there's no excuse. If they have any respect for you and your business whatsoever, they'll do what you ask. If they don't, you charge them for it. Because you know what? You can't give it away for free. That's ridiculous. And if they say, oh, so-and-so will do it down the street, let them go. Because you're going to kiss that two hours or three hours goodbye, you're never going to see it again. You could have spent that time doing something else. And even if it's not doing another detail, you can spend it with your family. Or spend it doing something that you want to do. Or, or work on your shop or work on your truck. Do something for yourself. Don't waste your time. Don't throw your time away because your time costs money. Don't throw that money away. Spend it doing something that's important to you. Don't spend it cleaning up somebody else's mess. We're detailers. We're not their mom and dad. We don't go and pick up after people. That's not what we're here for. We're here to run a professional business and people need to treat us properly. And if they don't want to, they can go somewhere else. That's the way I feel about it. I used to clean some of the nastiest vehicles. When I was when I was young and starting out, I didn't know any better. I would clean these buckets of crap and I would spend tons and tons of hours into these things. Like I said, it's okay if you're doing a viral video. You can't take a pig pen, clean it up, and make money on it. Especially when the customer's not paying you for all the extra hours of unloading this thing and loading it. You're just not going to make any money. You're going to take a pounding. People don't want to pay. So you know what? Have them unload it. They have a garage at home or whatever, or they can throw their garbage out in the garbage pail at their house. Why do you have to load up your garbage pails at your house with their junk? Doesn't make any sense. When you go to the dentist, you brush your teeth. When you go to the doctor, you take a shower. Guess what? You're bringing your vehicle to me for a detail. The least you can do is empty the thing. All right, that includes the trunk. And I tell them too, I said, empty it and put your ownership and your insurance in a Ziploc bag and you can leave that in the glove box because we clean the entire inside of the vehicle with a chemical gun and a steam cleaner and anything's left behind, it may get wrecked. I'm not responsible for anything that gets left in the vehicle. That covers you on a lot of bases because when I first started back in the day, I paid for a lot of cassette tapes that went up the vacuum cleaner. I paid for a lot of broken CDs. When I moved the seat and it snapped the CD in half, I had to pay for it. I paid for umbrellas that went missing that I found out two weeks later. The wife had it in her car or the husband had it in his car. It wasn't uh, taken out at my shop. They had it in the other vehicle. These are things that you can just avoid by telling the customer, look, empty the vehicle before it comes here because we're not responsible for anything that's lost, stolen, or damaged. We're just going to clean the interior of the vehicle. That's all we do. That'll save you guys a lot of headache, hopefully, okay? And that's how you deal with these people. Don't be afraid to say no. 
hell. If the vehicle's that trash, if they bring it to you for an estimate and that thing's disgusting. I sent one away the other day. Somebody called me up and said, do you clean vehicles that are full of mice? I said, no, I don't. Reason I don't do it? That's a mechanic's job. Why is it a mechanic's job? Because of all the interior needs to be ripped out of that car. Because if the mice are in there, they peed on all the insulation probably. There's probably urine all inside the dashboard. There's urine anywhere they can get. There's gonna be urine on the, on the underside of the seats. Okay, it's going to be a nightmare. Unless you've got two weeks to go and rip that thing apart and clean it, and you're getting paid for those two weeks, don't waste your time. There's some vehicles I just say no. Okay, cleaning up a vomit or cleaning up something that gets spilled in a car, that's one thing. But I have my limits. Somebody else asked me about a vehicle that was full of cockroaches. Guess what? I'm not touching it. Okay, number one, I don't want your cockroaches in my shop. I don't ever tell a customer that. But I don't want your infestation in my shop. And I don't want it on me. Here's the thing. Take pride in your work. And you know what? Have some respect for yourself. If a job is that disgusting that you think, no way, man, I'm not going to make any money on this, then don't take the job. Let it go to somebody else, you know, that cleans a car in an hour and a half, charges the customer 250 bucks and, and half acid. Don't don't bother taking on something like that unless they're willing to pay you for every single hour that you put into that vehicle. Save yourself some grief. So anyways, I think I've covered everything and as far as interiors go, that's my advice to you guys and I hope you guys make money because you know what? I lost money for the first few years I was doing this. I've been in this 31 years and now I make money. When somebody drops a vehicle off for me, the only thing I see in that vehicle is one set of floor mats and a Ziploc bag in the glove box. That's all I see. Everything else is emptied out of that vehicle and it saves me a lot of time. I don't have to unload and load door pockets. I don't have to unload and load consoles. I don't have to unload on any of that stuff because I tell the customer, look, I'm going to clean the entire vehicle thoroughly. Every nook and cranny, everywhere. It's up to the customer to clean that stuff out. That's not my personal stuff. And you know what? If they lose it when they're emptying and loading the vehicle, that's their problem. I don't want it on me. And I've run into that many times when I first started to. Save yourself a lot of headache and make yourself some money. Have the customer empty the vehicle before they bring it to you or else you charge them for that. Because I'm telling you, one day what's going to happen is they're going to say, oh, this is missing, that's missing, this got broken. You know what? That's not my problem. So tell them up front and honestly, we're not re responsible for broken or stolen items. My best advice to you is empty the whole vehicle out, all your compartments, door pockets, empty everything out of that vehicle. We're going to clean it thoroughly and then you can put everything back in there nice and neat or else we're going to charge you for it if you want us to do it we're going to charge you $50 an hour that'll deter a lot of these people from uh, dumping all their garbage in the car and leaving it up to you to empty out I hope you guys got something out of this and I appreciate you tuning in thank you very much talk to you soon bye like always check out DJ Dell you can find Dell right here or you can also find Dell at mixcloud.com slash DJ Dell 523 okay guys thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoyed this. Bye.